Here we're going to describe the difference between an Ethernet switch and an Ethernet hub. And we're going to do so on a system that links an HMI panel to a PLC. So right here is our HMI panel. This is a uh, human machine interface. We can uh, touch various buttons on the panel and access uh, parameters within. The panel is communicating via Ethernet to this PLC. So we're getting data from this PLC, reading data from it, and displaying it on the panel. So this panel is constantly sending query commands, pulling the PLC for data in the PLC's memory. And right now that link is being made through this Ethernet switch. Now, the gray cable you see here in port 1 is the cable from the HMI. So this is the HMI pulling or querying data from the PLC, which is the blue cable. So gray cable, HMI, blue cable, PLC. You can see from the blinking LEDs we have activity on both ports. Uh, the HMI on port 1 is sending data in, the PLC is replying with data, the blue cable in port number 3, and you see the activity. Now, this is an Ethernet switch, which is basically a hub with some extra features. I'm going to show you how a hub works. You'll see it's very similar. So here's a hub. I'm going to plug the HMI cable into port number 1. I'll plug the PLC cable into port number 3, just because I like ports 1 and 3. And you can see we have blinking lights on ports 1 and 3. No surprise, that's a hub. Now, hubs differ from switches in that in a hub, when it receives a signal from any of the ports, it broadcasts to all the ports. So right now the commands that are the pulling commands from the HMI are being broadcast to all eight of the ports in this hub, even though the PLC is only plugged into port number three. So if we had other devices plugged into these ports, they'd be receiving the same queries. And they'd ignore them because the queries come with a, a MAC address, who it's coming from and who it's going to. And if that MAC address doesn't match the destination, the destination won't respond. However, it's still going to hear the request. It's like being in one big room where everyone in the room can hear what one person is saying. Now notice what happens if I take the blue cord, which is our PLC, I move that to another port, like number five, you'll see that they both light up and they both start talking right away. And that's no surprise because we have uh, eight ports here that, that messages from the HMI are being broadcast to all eight ports. I want to go back to the switch and describe how it differs and show you an interesting characteristic of switches that you may have to be aware of in troubleshooting networks. So here we have our HMI and our PLC talking on ports 1 and 3 respectively, and it's working like it should to see the blinking lights. Now the difference with an Ethernet switch is that the Ethernet switch is aware of the destination MAC addresses, the source and destination MAC addresses of the device. And so what happens here if this device, the HMI, is trying to pull data from the PLC, it's going to specifically call out the MAC address of that uh, PLC. And when the Netgear switch sees that MAC address destination, it says, OK, I'm only going to send that message to port number 3. So if we had other devices plugged into ports 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, they would not have to listen to that message because the message isn't intended for them. Pretty cool, huh? So if we have other devices over here, they don't have to be bothered with the conversations happening between these two. And that uh, has a range of uh, benefits for us, including separation of collision domains, so a collision between these two, two devices doesn't cause a collision somewhere else. It's a really nice feature. However, it has one definite drawback you need to be aware of. Watch this. I'm going to take the PLC's cord and plug it into port number four. OK, HMI in port number one, PLC in port number four you'll notice an immediate difference in the blinking of the lights. You see an occasional blink here from the HMI as it tries to find the PLC, and the PLC over here is not replying. Why? Because it's on port 4. It used to be on port 3, and the switch thinks the PLC needs to be on port 3. Therefore, it never sends the HMI's message to port 4, and the PLC can't hear it. So it used to be an advantage to us, in uh, segregating and separating the communication messages between devices <coughs> has now become a deficit because now this is deaf to the queries coming from the HMI. Unless, of course, you power cycle the device like this, plug it back in, and then it's off and running. So that's something to be aware of. If you change port assignments on cables with an Ethernet switch, you may run into this problem. Now the switch will fix it itself. In this particular case, I did the test, it's about a five minute delay um, when you move a, a cable to a different port. 
and it det and it determines the new MAC address and the new assignment of that port. It takes about five minutes of, of fruitlessly trying here before it finally uh, determines a new MAC address and things start working well. Unless, of course, you power cycle. And that's a fast track way of doing it. But you need to be aware of that. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take PLC cable, port 4, and go to port 3. And suddenly, our communication is stalled. In fact, we can even see that looking at the HMI panel. We now have an error message. PLC communication timeout. It is trying to pull information from the PLC. It says it can't find the PLC. It's not getting a reply. So it says it gives us a timeout error. And now it picked it up. This uh, took quite a bit less time than I thought. It picked it up again. It's talking now. But there was a delay before uh, until that happened. Now it's interesting. If I take the HMI's cable right here and switch its port assignment, it doesn't take nearly as long to reestablish. Watch this. I'll take that out of port one, go to port number five, immediately picks up port number six, immediately picks up. Why, you ask? Well, remember, the HMI in this case is the device that's making the initial communication. It's the one that's pulling data from the PLC. So every time it talks, the Netgear hub says, oh, I know what your MAC address is now, and it reassigns the port. The PLC, on the other hand, in this particular installation, the PLC acts like a slave device and it only replies when spoken to by the master HMI. So if I move the PLC, it's silent. It doesn't speak unless spoken to. And it doesn't know it's being spoken to unless the signals get routed to its proper port. So it'll sit there deaf until the Netgear finally does a, a query and says, okay, what is your MAC address? Reassigns the port and it works. Or I can force that to happen by power cycling the hub, the switch, I should say. There we go. So, difference between an Ethernet switch and a plain old Ethernet hub and the uh, advantages and possible disadvantages thereof.